If I was to play any kind of a character in any Sonic game or movie, I would love to be Tails, because I'd want to be Sonic's best buddy. He was cool, he's like edgy, he had that wildness factor. Faster than Mario, the hedgehog with attitude. Hello, I'm Barry Evans, and welcome to yesterday's Sonic 1992's Game Room and Museum. a new thing for 1991. So I was 23 years old. My best friend, Manuel Gonzalez, just got a new apartment and he bought a Sega Genesis and I didn't know it. And the first thing I heard was the Sega. And it was like, that's funny, kind of funny that the game kind of sings out at you. We started playing it for a little bit while we took a break and we loved it so much that the next day I went out and bought my own Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis does what Nintendo don't. As you walk in, this is the first case you see, and these are some of the very first Sonic the Hedgehog items I've collected. I started collecting Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise basically after Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came out because merchandise started to appear here and there. This item right here is the item that started the entire collection, and it was the Sonic the Hedgehog bubblegum container, which held candy from 1993. Later on, I saw a poster and uh, more toys. I just started decorating my room with it. I said, this is really cool. What was the most weird or interesting item is a mold machine part for the UK Burger King toy. It's an exact mirror image of the toy, so I know that this was the mold part that made the toy. It's very heavy, so it's on the bottom shelf, so if it fell over, it wouldn't shatter the glass. And I started thinking, it would be great to start recreating my childhood arcade. It was called Yesterdays. It was a brand new arcade that opened up in 1981 in our new mall. I wanted to recapture that environment in this room. Things you, you would never expect to find are Valentines. Found those at Walmart in 1996. Sega has a dedicated theme park in Japan called Joypolis. These are the tokens that you get to play their redemption games with. Me and my wife, Stacy, had the wonderful opportunity to visit Japan in 2019, and it was the most amazing experience I've ever seen. The Japanese people are so friendly and nice. Everything is spotless and clean, and they celebrate video games there every day, everywhere. Perfect timing, a package came in today. It came from Tokyo, Japan. Got to be very careful with the razor blades. White glove at all. This looks like it's gonna be awesome. Anything that says Sega Sonic the Hedgehog is definitely from Japan. Oh my gosh. This is a very rare Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails plush walkie-talkie set. It's got an antenna sticking out of the top like a cell phone. And you put these earbuds in your ears to be able to talk back and forth. Here's Sonic. And don't forget your buddy Tails. This is a very exciting addition to the collection. There's a lot of amazing Sonic the Hedgehog stuff that never sees the U.S. shores. The internet opened up the world for, for collectors. Oh, they were uh, $1,700. They're very rare. These were actually released in like 1992. This right here is my uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, commercial kiosk from Sega. As you can see, I've got Sonic the Hedgehog playing on it, of course. It's a beautiful piece. I made a little modification to it, gave it blue and red lights to give it more sonic feel. The Toys R Us in Pasadena was remodeling and they had actually had it out in a uh, storage container in the parking lot. They let me have it. I didn't pay a penny for it. I bought this shirt in 1994 and I went, when I had to get my driver's license renewed that year, I made sure I was wearing that shirt and I actually tried to stand taller so it wouldn't get cut out. One of the things I treasure the most in my collection are the commercial signs, posters, and displays for Sonic the Hedgehog. That came from Denny's. My most favorite one, of course, being Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is the official Are You Up To It poster. My most favorite Sonic game is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. They gave him an unlimited budget to make a better game, a sequel for Sonic the Hedgehog. It was the very first game I ever put money down on or pre-purchased. I remember counting down the days to November the 24th of 1992, which was a Tuesday, and they called it Sonic Tuesday. And it still says, coming to you November the 24th, 1992. I actually built this in 1993, when Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was still new. To actually play the game, the, the joystick and all the buttons are hooked to the Genesis, and to start the game, you have to drop in a quarter. The coin switch is on the start button. And of course, my most favorite game is in it, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic the Hedgehog lapel pins. This one was, was a corporate pin that they gave out to employees. I think that was for number one in sales. 
working in a museum, I've learned about te temperature and humidity control is very important. If you have any kind of fluorescent lighting in your collection or game room, get rid of it immediately and replace it with LED because fluorescent lighting emits powerful UV and it will fade and destroy all your items. This is the crown jewels of my collection, the Sonic and Tail statues from Toys R Us flagship stores in 1994. I actually kept after the store managers for almost a decade. In 2001, they called and said, hey, if you want these statues, please come get them right now because we're remodeling. And I slipped out of work and went and picked them up before they changed their mind. The Sonic movies have been perfect. I love them very much. When the first Sonic trailer came out and everybody saw the appearance of Sonic, everybody was like, what is this? This is terrible. It would kind of look like me if I was painted blue. <laughs> and I really believe if they didn't do it over, the movie would not have been a success. It was just incredible uh, to have Guinness World Record give me vindication from my collection. To get it was no easy feat. It was a lot of work. It took three weeks of eight to 10 hour days to catalog just the Sonic the Hedgehog items alone in this room. To have my collection recognized by Guinness World Records is a life fulfilling event to me.